Yes, we've got lots of plot expedition, you know. Ugh. Luke, just... How did this happen? Oh yeah. Well. Yeah, time travel. Woo. Right. As it most likely would be. Yeah. Well, I wouldn't say a complete failure. Made a spectacular bang. Yeah. Improbable, Luke. Right. But why? Just sound all a bit far fetched. So it's a wormhole, basically. I still don't get why you put it into the clock shop, you know. The, uh, it might get sold. Yeah, that's a bit confusing as well. There's lots of holes in this theory, Future Luke. You do realise this, don't you? Right. Himself. Oh, bloody typical. Fire with, f fire with fire, an eye for an eye. Mm. Okay. Wait. Chinatown, right. There's a lot that is dubious. A heck of a lot. Yeah. 
Okay. Great. To kidnap the Prime Minister? That's generally what happened. That might just be the plan. Don't know if I'm standing on any toes here or what, but... Uh, oh, got two mysteries at once, and a one. Good grief! A grown-up Luke used a time machine to send the letter back to the present, requesting the help of his former teacher, Professor Layton, in rescuing the chaotic future city of London. The shady characters dressed in grey are members of a gang under the control of the future Layton, the boss of the London underworld. The future Herschel Layton is a crime lord who terrorises London with his gang of thugs. Known and feared by Londoners as the devil in the top hat, how could this model English gentleman have turned into such a monster? Yes. It don't make sense! Dr. Stalingan is the scientist who unveiled the time machine at the presentation, but no records exist of a scientist with that name. He must be somebody else using an alias to cover up his true identity. Who is he really? And, yay, now time for journals. Future London. According to Future Luke, this London is under the command of my future self. It seems I've become obsessed with developing a time machine and have been kidnapping scientists from the past, that is, our present. If these allegations are true, then stopping my future self is my duty as an English gentleman. <sighs> right. Time to leave. After we've grabbed the Hinquins. Hinquins are always very nice when you grab them. I love this cutscene that's coming up too. Oh, it's fun! Oh, there you are, boss! Oops. Run! Oh. Oi! What are you doing wearing the boss's get up? Is your idea of a joke? Oh, that's no, very no, bored at all. Come to think of it, I don't think I've seen any of you round here before. Yes, well, mm. we don't often get a chance to visit this fine establishment of yours. Very true. Don't know about that, but I'm gonna need you to come with me for some questioning. This way, you free. Red. <laughs> Professor, run away while you can! Oh god, this is getting brutal. Oh, no! Quickly, you two, this way. Don't run! Don't let him escape! You hear? Don't, Don't let, let him escape! escape. Who's the little fat guy? Whoa! Hold the guns there. We're surrounded, Professor! Got Hold this yourself, so Luke. By the I minute. have a plan. But wait! Where are you going? Ah! <sighs> First lady, the badass who can dodge bullets. Do you see a way out of this? I do, but I'll need your help. Oh, it's the most awesome plan ever! Zero two eight slot machine gun! Basically, put it together! Build a coin gun from the parts of this disassembled slot machine and help our heroes fight back. Rotate the parts to fit them into the checkered shape below. You must use all the parts and none of them can overlap. Now, hurry! It's quite a simple puzzle, really. Now, I think you might see me thinking why isn't it working properly? Because that wasn't in quite properly. Still. Just rotate that a little bit. And then plug it in. Let's see if I've got it's this time right. for some time. With a slot machine gun. Well, that's settled. 
Very punny, level 5. Very punny indeed. Jack, what is time to fight back? Love it. I mean, that would be painful. It really would be painful because obviously. Wait, we point. Fast fight. paced. Hit back. I'd say that was a close one. We gave them the taste rather well. of their own medicine. Funny. I don't remember you helping. Look, you're me. So that means I get some credit for assisting. Oh, is that so? That's very interesting logic. Makes sense, though. <laughs> oh, we've got a new car thing. Yay! Anyway, Chapter 3, The Enigmatic Future. I can't remember how many chapters there are in this game. I think there's like 14. Yeah, that would be weird. That would be really weird, calling your future self Mr. T oh. So yes, Big Luke and Little Luke. Okay. Yes, we did. Oh, okay. Rightio. Off we trot, then. The rest to the restaurant in the arcade. We ran into a spot of trouble as we were leaving the casino and were attacked by the family. One of the gangsters mistook me for his boss and then took offence at my parents. I suppose my future self, even ten years older, is still me, so it is not unthinkable that someone might confuse us. Following future Luke's lead, we have now decided to head for the restaurant in the arcade. Yeah. Probably hurry away from the place where they tried to kill us. But no, we're gonna play a little toy car in big score. Don't quite think we used the bounce yet. Oh no, we do use the bounce. Yeah, this is why you're supposed to turn your thing, your car around. Because otherwise that happens. Yeah. Tilt it up, you should be fine. Yeah, that's what forgetfulness does to you. Just love the music. Do, 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 do. I think that went rather well, apart from the, um, crash. Yay! Now we need to get to that restaurant. Quick. <laughs> 